How has your interview style or, or the way that you interact with artists changed from the first episode of Shaco Sessions Live to over 120 something later? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think at first I was overly prepared and, and tried to make it very much like a Barbara Walters interview. Um, you know, I just didn't have the confidence, so I didn't want there to be any dead air. Um, and I didn't know how confident they were. I didn't know if I could surprise them and keep them on their toes either. And now I'm much better at reading whether or not they're going to be good on the fly. Yeah, and so now it's much more situational rather than uber prepared. And I'm much more concerned with the, with the person and the people in the room instead of who's watching. In the beginning, I was so nervous being on camera that I was just concerning myself with, oh my God, I wonder how many people are watching. Oh my God, do I look okay? How's the camera, how's mm -hmm. the light? I was so concerned with logistics and I quickly just, it, that all fades away and I just focus on the band and the person. Yeah, I mean, it, it helps when you have like a good team of people around you where you mm -hmm. can kind of trust them to just take care of things. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but I, also I wanted to have you kind of share a little bit about the beginning of Shaco Sessions Live. Because yeah. I mean, at this point, I would consider it a Richmond staple. It, longevity wise, it hasn't been around forever. I mean, it's a year and a half, maybe close to two years, mm -hmm. but it's been so consistent. And I think its impact <laughs> is strong and what it is is unique. So I'd like to kind of hear a little bit about like how that came to be. Well, Shaco Sessions originally was a networking event. Um, Carlos Chafin, the owner of In Your Studios started it, I'm gonna say six, seven years ago. He would invite people to In Your Studios um, he would have food brought in, everybody would eat a little bit, drink a little bit, and then they would, in the lobby, and then they would go into the studio and watch a kick-ass band. And there'd maybe be 60 people or so, and they did this for years and years and years. Pandemic hit, they stopped doing it. Um, well, before the pandemic, they had stopped doing it. They had just gotten busy. And when I met him, it was right before the pandemic. It was like for three or four months before the pandemic, and he wanted to add a podcast element to it. So we weren't sure if I was just going to sit at a table and interview people or roam around, <clears throat> but we were talking about what that was going to look like. Pandemic hit, and he said, you know what, we should just stream it. We should just turn this into, still have the band, like we can't have the potluck and the networking obviously, but we should still have a band, we can banter with them, we'll do it on camera and we'll stream it. And I said, well, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with your project, you know, because <laughs> I did podcasting and voice act. I did everything behind the camera, like not seen. And I said, I appreciate your time. Good luck with your project. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, you're gonna have to find someone to host it. And he said, well, that'll be you. And I said, no, no, it won't. But it was, it was. He put an iPad in front of me and we went with it. We, I think we took three weeks to prepare. We, we made the decision to do that and three weeks later in June, we were on the air with the Shaco Sessions. See, that seems crazy to me. Because <laughs> we, we, we just asked everybody to come in on that Tuesday, the camera people, the lighting person, sound people. We, got, we booked about three or four weeks worth of bands and we just started doing it, just, just to see. And you haven't missed a week, have you? No, we took one week off for an election Tuesday and then I think there was one like around a holiday. I think we've missed maybe two Tuesdays. That's that's incredible. <laughs> in, in I almost mean, two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, just to be that consistent and that mm -hmm. on top of it, and I, the type of music that you guys feature on the show to me is like it's. You, I don't know what I'm gonna discover <laughs> I when know. I tune in. It's great. You know, I'll tune in. It's like okay, we're playing hip hop. Okay, we're playing jazz. Okay, now there's this like Brazilian something something. <laughs> now there, you know, it's like okay, cool. I like Isn't when I'm turning. It's like a mixed bag. Has there been like some styles of music that you've been introduced to? Uh, uh, Turkish Samba. It was the first time I had ever heard Turkish Samba. They were incredible. Uh, Yeni Nostalgi. Nordic Folk. We had a band called Wolven Wind. And, you know, this guy Eric Tabor makes his own instruments from animal hides. And the music sounds like video game soundtrack and, and dark movie soundtrack. But it's absolutely beautiful. Alien Jazz. That was the first time I ever heard. Alien Jazz. Um, yeah, it's just incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all from Richmond. We have all of these genres in this little square radius. It's incredible to me. It's pretty wild. I mean, because Richmond is, it's a city, but it's not a, a, a major city. It's mm -hmm. what, like 250,000 mm -hmm. people inside the city limits. Yeah, and like the per capita amount of talent <laughs> is, is pretty wild. Well, that's and, something to note that all the musicians we have, they're all performing original content. These aren't cover bands. Right. You know, they can do little medleys and throw in a cover here and there just, you know, to, for the crowd, but they're not cover bands. This is all original content. 
So yeah, 120 some episodes, 130 by time mm -hmm. this comes out of Richmond musicians that are killing it of all styles, genres. I, check yes. out Shaco <laughs> Sessions Live. It's Last year alone we had 258 band members on our stage because some shows we had multiple acts, 258 musicians. That's crazy. In one calendar year.